What's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. And today I wanted to talk about Daku, an incredible trade. Um, we had this on the watch list and the idea here was to go long at that 96, 91 level. But what really takes, what really happens here is interesting. You push up to it and it's pushing up to this level. You're keeping an eye on it, right? You want to see what's going to happen at that 96, 91, 97 trigger area. So we sell off. And on this sell-off, it actually gets more interesting because when you're going down, when you're looking at the flow, if you search the flow, you'll see that there's a lot of lots of bullish activity starting to come in around this 950 area. This bullish activity is continuing to come in. Now, when you see that, you're able to check the quick view tab and see that there's lots of, you know, out of the money short-term calls being bought. So this is what we're after. We're looking for a directional move. Now, once this 97 trigger area breaks, this move kind of takes off, all right? So that was the trigger point. Now, if you missed that point, if you missed that 97 area, which actually comes from a resistance of yesterday, we see this resistance area at 96, 91, support at 94, 86. So that's why we were expecting this break and then the continuation upward. Now, oftentimes we as traders miss moves and that's great. Now we've established the flow is there, the quick view tab is bullish, the flow on the day is actually 61% bullish and we're getting, you know, this confidence to take the trade, but we've missed this ex original move up. So we don't chase this. We actually wait for a pullback and the falling wedge is a pattern that presented itself. One of the bullish patterns we look for on explosive moves up and that's what presented itself here. All right. That's exactly what we have. If we take a comparison here, we have this push up, we have this pullback. And right here is your entry to go long, and this move really just takes off. Now, what's really interesting, when you guys are looking at falling wedge patterns, you have to look at the volume profile. Here on the volume profile, we see an increase as the stock is moving up, which is great, which is something that we're looking after. And on this pullback, we have decreasing volume, which tells us we have consolidation, which is good consolidation and not massive selling taking place. And that right there, off of this 20 moving average, you get in on that trade and ride this move up. All right, guys, now we see there's monsters, red bars coming in, telling us that these red bars are actually more than all day's trades. So this is an area of concern. Now, the top might be put in for the day um, on Daku. We'll see how this kind of pans out. All right, so hopefully you guys found value in this. Again, we're using yesterday's levels. We're using bullish patterns. We're using volume um, to see how that breakout is happening, how the pullback is happening. All of this combined with the flow, quick view tab, overall sentiment on the trade. These are everything that you need to look at in order to take the trade. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys found value in this. If you did, go ahead and like it and retweet this with somebody that you think will find value. in it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.